board ready. And we're going to break our check. Good morning, everybody. Hope you're fully rested after last night. <clears throat> Man, we've had a lot of streams t <laughs> this week. <laughs> oh, I've been live on camera for the majority of this week. But it's been a lot of fun. We've been getting a lot done. I'm still working on my lore video. I'm, I'm hoping I get it done in time for tomorrow, but I don't know. <clears throat> I'm almost done with the editing, but I <clears throat> still got to do sound design and all of that. So we'll see. I'll try that after the broadcast. But last night was a trip. That game, man, um, the next chapter in the uh, Dark Pictures anthology, uh, House of Ashes, uh, lots of, I mean, they're so, all still alive. They're all still alive. But then again, they were all still alive after the first episode of Lost Hope as well. So who knows what'll happen. I will do my best, however, to try to keep them alive. We'll see them all die next week. Actually, next week is the episode um, 666. I don't know what I'm doing next week. But I'm not doing anything exciting. So it's just going to be boring. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll play Solitaire or something. Just a boring, normal stream is what it's going to be. All right, good to see everybody on Facebook today. Harold, Jaden, Lewis. Jaden with a donation of stars. Thank you so much, Jaden. Uh, and it's good to see everybody on YouTube, all of the regulars and members and Patreon subscribers. Survivor from the old era, Megaglow Z, Slatty Bartfest, Gontaro Dim. Uh, you guys have been chatting for a while. You, you guys were waiting for quite a, quite a while. Dong Ho Choi with the first super chat of the day. Happy Friday, says Dong Ho Choi. Thank you very much. Happy Friday back at you. Garrett McFadden with a donation of stars on Facebook says, Hi Ox and all in chat. Oxhorn for episode 666. Play scary music in the background and a fog machine. Lol, play on good sir. What is it with everybody thinking I'm going to put a fog machine in my op? You guys think I just have a fog machine laying around out here? Those things are expensive, right? I mean, I've, yes, I've got a very expensive computer equipment that I've that I've hand built, but but I'm gonna go out and go get a fog machine for one episode of Scotch and Smokings. I don't know, like having it's. I don't want a bunch of fog in my office. I mean, having a whole bunch of low uh, hanging mist inside. I mean, who would do that? I don't think I want that. I mean, when you have microscopic particulates in the atmosphere in a room where high-functioning computer equipment has to work, I mean, that's a recipe for disaster. It could clog the fans, it could make them overheat, and you want me to get a fog machine? No, I have more respect for the equipment I use to produce the show. Would never do that. Fog in an office, come on. I'm joking with you, Garrett. And then Jaden says, uh, do a good horror game for 666. That would be nice. I mean, I try to do good horror games for Scotch and Smoke Rings every night or every week. So hopefully I'll pick something good. Julian Z with a super chat on, uh, on YouTube says, hey, Ox, so good to see you on this Tomb Friday. Hope you're well. How's the lore video coming along? Will it be on this weekend? And what will it be about? Um... Well, I, I am making good progress on my lore video, but I still have a lot to do, and uh, I've been bogged down with them, um, with live streams all week, which I've really been enjoying, uh, but it has taken away from my ability to do the lore video. That said, I am still going to try to do it. It's going to be about the full story of Fallout 4. It's the next chapter. If you recall, we went to the Glowing Sea, we met Virgil, we now have to find a courser to get a courser chip, and that is what the episode is going to be about. 
Nick Barnhouse says, Martin Knox wanted to swing by and say, I'm getting married tomorrow, so I can't stay, unfortunately. <laughs> Got a lot to get done before tomorrow, play on, sir. Uh, Nick Barnhouse, unfortunately, I mean, my friend, you're getting married. There's nothing unfortunate about that. At least there shouldn't be, though I understand the preparations can be exhausting. But uh, congratulations, Nick, on the upcoming nuptials. I'm glad you came by to say hello to everybody. Let me know on Monday how everything went. And uh, congratulations again. I hope you are able to get out for a fun honeymoon. Dong Ho Choi says, no, Ox, you're wrong. Next week's episode is 667. That's right. I forgot. How could I have forgotten that? Next week, episode 667. I'm, I just, my, my internal calendar was messed up. That's all. <laughs> Pagan <laughs> Pagan Jester says Does Ox really need a scary game For 666 Have you guys not seen the giant Donut behind him Are you saying that that's Nightmare fuel over there I think it's cute Look at that smiling face Look at those eyes that are always open, staring in one direction. Look at his arms, wide open as if he wants to give you a hug. A strong, locking hug. Nothing creepy about that. Jessica on Facebook says, hey Ox, Hope you're enjoying your coffee this fr fine Friday. I am enjoying my coffee. I'm on my second cup. Got up this morning, put the kids on the bus. And then I was stuck in my uh, email, just uh, answering email for probably about an hour. It always happens. I get, uh, I get behind on email throughout the week. And then I just, it all piles up. And then I got to sit there and answer emails for about an hour or two. I still have more that I didn't get to, but I want, I had to do the show. And then I also uh, worked on my shop a little bit. By the way, somebody came by. I forgot who it was. Was it Matthew? Was I think it was Matthew Ryan. Anyway, I forgot who it was. Somebody came on and said that they couldn't find a hoodie in the um, Benny design that I have on the shop. Um, the game was rigged for, from the start, but it was there. And it was just as I said uh, yesterday. There are more products for every single design. T-shirts sweatshirts, hoodies, and then sometimes household items like pillows and blankets and so forth. But the, the website is a little tricky. You got to scroll all the way down and there's a related products section that has to load in the lower left hand corner of the screen. And sometimes if your internet connection is slow or if your machine is bogged down because you've got too many tabs open in your browser, that might take a good minute to load. But once it loads, it'll show you all the other products that are available for that design. And then you can click on it and choose the color and choose the size and so on. So it is there, but sometimes it's hard to find. I went ahead and tweeted it out if you guys wanted the um, um, game was rigged for, from the start hoodie. But it is there. Josh Bunton says, uh, Ox, would it be too much of a stretch instead of a game next week? You read a book to us? I think you guys put too much um, faith in my narrative abilities. Uh, I don't know if, if, if sit, me sitting here for four hours reading a book would really uh, be scintillating YouTube. May, Mayurish Josh Jog. Mayurish Jog says, yes, read us a book. I mean, you, you guys have asked for, for that before. I don't know if I could just sit and read a book. What would I read? You, someone wanted me to read The Powers of Avalon or something like that. No, it was the Ag Algernon. The Kingdom of Algernon or something. Maybe, maybe. Sarge Games says, wow, over two years. Has it really been that long? Keep up the good work, my friend. Sarge Games, a member for 41 months, a silver ox with a gold derby. 
looking good on you, Sarge Games. Two years, I can't tell you how happy it is to see members of this community that have stuck with me for that long. That's amazing. Thank you so much, Sarge. He says, you could do half of a book and then God, I'm gonna have to do something next week. No, wait, next week is 667. That's what I'll do. It's gonna make me delay my lore episode because I'll be so focused on coming up with something to do for episode 667 that I won't get my lore episode out. That's what you guys are doing now. Jessica McDonald on uh, Facebook says, I've been watching your Nuka World playlist on YouTube. I'm almost done with them. Thank you, Jessica. Uh, Nuka World was such a fun DLC for Fallout 4. I think I got everything. Let me know if there's anything I missed. Dung Ho Choi on YouTube with a super chat says, only reason why you'd have so many emails is because you have email correspondence with Fallout TV show crews. Lol, joking. Well, that's cute, but no. As I have said many times, I am not in any way involved in the Fallout TV show, they're doing their thing, and they're not consulting me at all. They should be, but they're not, and that's okay. That's up to them. I'm not. No, I've got, I've got emails from the kids' school and from uh, uh, YouTube and from t uh, Twitch and just just tons and tons of emails that I'm always getting through and meetings. Oh man, my time. Mega Glow Z says, good morning, Ox. Would you quickly elaborate on which La Aurora you smoke, as in which size and kind? Going to give them a shot. Have a great game. Well, Mega Glow, it changes from, um, you know, month to month, really depending on the deals that are available online. I can tell you that right now, I've got a variety. I talked about them on my show last night. This is a La Aurora, Nicaragua, $14.95. It's a Churchill-sized cigar. Already cut it, but it's about that long. I prefer the Churchill-sized cigars. This is another one, but it's from Brazil. And then there's another one that I've been smoking with a Connecticut leaf wrapper, which is a very, it's got a silky texture. And this is the La Aurora Barrel Aged. It's um, a torpedo shaped. So I think that's all the information you need to be able to find them, if you want them. Corey on Facebook says, recently took a driving test and wore my Oxhorn Driving School t-shirt for luck. I passed, have a great day. Corey, <laughs> That's great! Oh, did your driving instructor have anything to say about the questionable shirt you chose to wear? <laughs> well, congratulations on passing your driving test, and I'm glad my shirt was there to give you luck. That's awesome. Robin says, uh, Morning, how was the game last night? I fell asleep. It was good. I have to say, it started a bit slow. They did a lot of plot build up with the relationships between some of the characters and the reason why there were U.S. soldiers in Iraq and all of that. But when the ground opened up, the game kind of began, and it, be it got a bit spooky. I want an explanation. I mean, they're really setting us up to believe that these creatures are vampires, really. They've got wings. They die when you stab them through the heart. They burn when they're touched by sunlight. I mean, these are these creatures are exhibiting many of the same characteristics as vampires. What were these vampires doing in Sumeria 4,000 years ago? And how are they related to a plague? I'm really hoping we find enough lore that explains that sort of uh, backstory while we um, dive deep into this ancient Sumerian temple. Toby Noble says, I just now got a notification 13 minutes after you started. On Facebook, really? They just now notified you? Oh, sorry about that, Toby. Um, yeah, I don't know why they do that sometimes. But I haven't started the program yet. You guys have had a lot of questions, which is great. 
Elena Sherwood says, Good morning, Ox. 2 a.m. here. Has anyone recommended Cyberpunk Edge Runners to you? Only 10 episodes on Netflix. Yes, it's anime, but the stylized art style really complements its world and characters. Amazing story and identical locations from the game. Really? You know what? I might, uh, I might be able to get over my distaste of anime a little bit to watch the show. Mainly because I'm kind of curious to see how the locations that I'm familiar with after having played the game are depicted in this series. The problem is that I don't want it to mess up my algorithm. You know, the moment you watch any anime on Netflix, Netflix will start recommending every awful anime that's in their library. And I know this because my son logged into my Netflix account and he watched a, a, an anime show. It was an innocent you know, cartoon based on a, a video game that he was watching. I don't even remember which one it was. But he did it from my profile, right? We've got the family profiles. There's the kids' profile. Then there's mine. My profile's full of documentaries and boring stuff, you know, that I would like, right? And then I log in one day, and it's just, boom, anime. This is what you should watch. This is what's trending now. Anime, 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 anime. And I'm like, ah, what happened to my algorithm? And then I had to go through the history settings and say, forget, forget. No, I don't want this recommended. Ugh. So I'm worried, right? I would, I'm kind of interested but if I watch this Edge Runners thing, is it going to mess up my Netflix algorithm? I think it might. And that's a lot of work on my end to kind of clean it up again. Mm. Survivor from the old era says, Fishki says, hi. I say, the gods favor us both. 15 times as you sell looted sticks. Happy Friday. Thank you, Survivor from the old era and Fishki. Kid Flash 0315 or 0135 says you should check out Terminator Resistance. You will like it. It's your kind of game. All right. Terminator Resistance. I'll have to check it out. Thank you. I mean, I typically don't go for branded games, like games that are made after other franchises, like movies and so forth. But. I mean, that's not a rule. Alien Isolation was genuinely an amazing game. Mad Max is genuinely an amazing game. So, <clears throat> yeah, maybe I'll check it out. Okay, I think we're ready. Let's dive into the game. Julian Z says, Ox, couldn't you just make a throwaway profile? Oh, that's shady. I'm going to log into Netflix and create a throwaway profile just to watch anime on Netflix? No, no, no. That's shady. Maybe. Dong Ho, Ch <laughs> Dong Ho Choi says, Solution, a burner profile. Okay, you guys have the same idea. I don't normally recommend anime, but Studio Trigger makes least anime-like animes, and I'd recommend even to non-anime fans. All right, well, you know what? I'm not gonna say no, just because I dislike anime. Um, maybe I should give it a try. You know, I'm, 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 I'm open to it being good. All right. <clears throat> Let's see where we were. Kid Flash says you missed some super chats. Did I? I mean, I think I've been pretty on top of it. Um, I got your Terminator Resistance one. Yeah, I don't think I've missed any, my friend. Okay. Now, where were we? We had just, I believe we had just found this campsite. Let's see. Yeah, we, uh, I think we were exploring a tomb. The collapsed temple. <clears throat> 
that is some loud music. I think this is the right direction. There must have been an incredible battle here. <clears throat> All right, we got a cache there. Ooh, what is that a cannon? More. This seems to be some kind of primitive sculpture of a human. Wow. An effigy. Black powder. Okay, so we've got a cannon over here. I see. We're not firing the cannon, we're using it as a battering ram. A falconet. from ancient Mayan to Spanish Galleon. Let's take a look at our map. Well, we've got some loot. Looks like about it for under the water. Right, so we got a flag over here. And is that a hole in there? What's what's making that light? What a cool location. Oh, I am all about this place. Kickable raft. Ugh. All right, before we do that, let's explore down here. Any caves or anything? Okay. 
Feel like we're gonna fight pirate ghosts here. Okay, we've got a big pile of rubbish. We've got a loose cannon there. And this looks like whatever we're going to zip line down from. Man, I was just watching my Obra Din series on YouTube last night after I was finishing a little bit of work. And I was really proud of how that series turned out. I absolutely love nautical ghost tales like that. And um, it made me want to do a, a, like a ship themed game. And here we are, so I'm really excited about this. Okay, so we've got that, we've got that. Okay, that's just the garbage that's on the deck above us. What happens if we push this? The Falconet's in position. Right, we're gonna bust through all that garbage. Do we just, um... No, I don't think we can bust through that with just one arrow. Ooh. Oh, look at this ship, it's so cool. Okay, so we've got another movable platform over there. A jail cell looks like a brig or something down there. <laughs> nope, and that's too high. So we're gonna have to do it from that end, perhaps to get across. Let's keep going down and see what's down here in the water. had someone imprisoned when they sank and he was trying to get out he was reaching out poor guy look at all these bones oh we can just crack that open huh right before we dive into there let's see if we can figure this out We probably don't have to go back up to snap the wire. It's probably something we do from the opposite side. <clears throat> but just to make sure. All right, this is what we want to get into. All right, let's go swim. That's gonna let us into the captain's cabin, right? I can't carry any more. All right, and I have no other ammo types, so. Right, where are we?
tricky. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to jump up there. Okay, I gotta find a different solution. <laughs> I don't suppose there's, uh, there's anything I can walk on here to get over there. <laughs> Right, well, let's see. And there's really no edge for me to crawl across over there either. the answer is to climb up on that banister. <sighs> to get up on that mast. See, I'm too far down to actually attach <clears throat> anything in there. And I can't get close enough to that one either. Okay, this is weird. Uh, if I could somehow make a zip line over to that section. 
by standing on that, maybe? Okay, so that's where I originally was. I can't actually attach a rope to that. Now I could attach that to something, but I've got to find something to attach it to first. I'm not close enough to any of my attach points, right? I can't get up here. And even, even if I tried, Yeah, I'm, I'm too far away from that. Julian Z says, Ox, I think back through the underwater tunnel, the wall next to the pole you were trying to grapple had ledges for you to jump. It's just kind of dark. Yeah, okay, I'll try that again. Let's put this back just in case. Alright, so clearly that's a wall that I can jump on, but I can't do anything down there. There we go. Okay, finally. Was that? <laughs> That's tricky. <laughs> oh, this is going to take me a while. There we go. Not so bad. Yeah, finally. Okay, so we're back on the other side. We get a better look at this. There's an attach point over there. But again, we've got to find a way to attach it to something. Can we attach, attach that to something? We can't. Let's see what happens if we move it. Damn, it won't budge. I mean, we can hit that now, but attach it to what? We see that, but attach it to what?
let's go down and explore this other side of the ship. Because there is that. Oh my god, this music is just so dramatic! Julian Z says, Ox, I think you can open that gate below you. I can't. Okay, so that's an easy way across now, so that I don't have to jump up. But that didn't really do anything. Oh, but now I can't get back up. So we've attached that, but uh, for what purpose? Okay, so that won't budge because it's attached up there. So I need to get up there somehow, which means I need to get across that beam to get up there. Um, but I can't jump up there. I can't I can't jump up there from there. So how do I get up that beam? <laughs> Julian Z says, Ox, do you think you can try climbing the second mast to try and cut the rope that's holding it in place? Uh, from down there? I, I don't know if I can climb it from down there. <clears throat> I mean, you'd think I could climb the riggings, but I can't, I can't get on the box to climb the riggings.
Are there something glowing up there? I don't even know what that is. What is that? I mean, if I could somehow get up there, I could jump to there. I can't, uh, I can't get close enough to the wire to cut it. <sighs> okay, let's try something else here. Oh, man. The only other thing I can think of is that there was that mast that pointed away from the ship. Z says, Ox, you see that beam fallen pole over the side of the boat back by the mast that won't move? Get on it and look for a climbable rock wall to jump to. Okay, good. All right. There we go. Thank you, Julian Z. swung out too far to reach. Okay. 
just for that scrap, or can I go further? space for that. Well, I made it down, but there's nothing up here. we go. That's actually not what I want to do, is it? Oh, but it won't stick there. All right, so now I got to go through all of that again just to get there. Okay.
not. Uh, I mean, was that right or did I just miss it? Oh, can I jump there now? <clears throat> yes, I can. Julian Z says, Ox, I think you could have just now reached the beam from the crate, lol, but you do it the Ox way. <clears throat> well, uh, thank you. Thank you, guys. Why is my rope gone now? I didn't cut that rope. Why is it gone? <laughs> who was it who said yes during this thought teaser, this really long puzzle, let's have kettle drums blaring. Just incessant kettle drums. Captain's note. We underestimated the natives. Crafty bastards. Told us of a cave filled with gold, but they led us into a trap. The damn place was filled with monsters. After a ferocious battle, we pushed them back. The remaining men loaded the ship with whatever valuables we could find. The battle must have weakened the cavern, for when we tried to escape, it collapsed. I hear them out there, even now, digging through the barriers. Simon's breath two further increases breath Time capacity to ship. when swimming underwater. Tomb complete. And I got some gold doubloons. else around here there's the cannon that fell through 
Wait, well, that's the cannon that fell through. So there's a cannon beneath me too. Huh. All right, so it's a back door. About that cannon beneath me. <laughs> okay. Tomb explored. We're back here. Wait, did I miss something over there? Okay, this is going towards the quest target. I think I missed something back there.
Okay, uh, one thing at a time. Let's see. Let's try this. It's just a noise. Alright, I'm really hoping for a campfire because I think there's a bunch of stuff that I missed. Like, just now I took one of three paths and it looks like the correct one. I thought it was like a side path, but it looks like the one I was supposed to take. So, I'm gonna have to come back to finish exploring those areas. Shotgun! Yay! Finally! Take it, Laura. Just take the shotgun. Don't marvel about the body. Take the shotty! Ugh. You know, she's had to find a shotgun in every game she's played. You'd think by now... The Bishop 600, new gear acquired. You'd think by now she'd get a shotgun and save These it and keep it with These must be the soldiers who went missing. Heather O'Malley says, in all honesty, this game makes my arms ache. The arm twisting is very, ow. <laughs> yeah, she's got uh, joints and sinews of steel, that's for sure. All right, new base camp discovered. Let's see, how many skills? I've only got two skill points. And I think I've I've gotten everything that only requires two skill points, so we'll do that later. Let's fast travel. Oh, fast travel unavailable? Come on. <coughs> All right. I think I missed some stuff back here. But fast travel unavailable. Rope pull five effigies down. Okay, yeah, I saw that. Where did he come from? This pile of bones.
Ox? What green Shit. barrels? <laughs> green barrels?
Time to move. God. Well, that was awful. Stick Laura in a pit and then send wave after wave after her. With absolutely no cover. Okay. Full up. Can't carry any more. All right. What now? Yeah, exactly, Laura. What now? No, no, I'm attaching it to that. Thank you. There we go. Okay, so there's a passage under there. Hold on a second, there's also a wall over here. Hey! This rosary has six decades instead of the usual five. A very ornate example of the Brigantine version. There appears to be an engraving. Andreas Lopez. Looks like I missed a survivor cache down here. Let me see if I can grab that real quick.
Right, anything else in this room? Doesn't look like it. Trap. Oh, man. <laughs> I kind of want to see how Laura would die to this. Looks brutal, but no. Four shells for one enemy? Undated. Strange warriors pursued us through the caverns. We moved quickly, too quickly for an accurate description. Most of the soldiers fell in battle. They were valiant, but outmatched and outnumbered. Eventually, Lopez, I, and a single surviving soldier reached a magnificent temple. I cannot imagine how the people managed to build such a structure so deep underground. A massive door blocked our progress. Lopez, his voice frantic and breaking, ordered Perez, the last remaining conquistador, to stand guard while we worked on the mechanism. The door began to roll open. Our celebration of success was drastically cut short by the dying screams of Perez. The sound haunts me still. Ooh. Right. Okay, so he was up there and he just jumped down on top of us. We need to get down there somehow. Is that water? No, those are spikes. Great. Spikes. Ah. the neck oh these are I have to brutal. find a way across i found the way across i just the jump i mean come on i i wasn't made that jump i mean sure i'll do a better run Got it. First of December, 1603. A strange noise woke me in the middle of the night. I found Lopez still staring at the fire, though now it was nothing but coals. I asked him if he'd heard the noise as well, but all he did was grunt. I wrapped a blanket about his shoulders and built up the fire again. Then I sat and listened. Far off shrieks and hisses, likely distorted by the twists of the caverns. But underneath all those sounds, I heard a faint thrum. I've heard something like that before, but rarely, and only when in the deepest of prayers, it sounded like the voice of God. Hmm. Jared Forsyth with a sticker tip on Facebook. A very generous donation of stars. Thank you very much, Jared Forsyth. What's behind that door? <sighs> okay, so it looks like I got to destroy that somehow.
Oh, there's the cash over there. Oh, the bodies. Oh, my God. Okay, let's get that survivor cash. So there is a mechanism over there. When in doubt, follow the trail of bad guys. shotgun shells. Yeah. Alright, that opened that path. Is there anything down there? Yeah. Let's see. Minor scrap. what I'm supposed to do? Probably not. I'm guessing that? Yay, shotgun shells, hooray.
All right. Oh, I need to divert the water to that wheel. I see. So I need to spin this around to hit that, then spin that around to hit that, then spin that around to hit that. Okay, I got you. Makes sense. Okay. All right, we need to remove that one first. Another door, of course! Where are they all coming from? All right, so we need to do another wheel. So, somewhere on the other side. I guess something opened up to us now. Let's loot up first. I've got one shotgun shell left. I did it last time. But this must be the last one.
Right, <clears throat> let's see. Up here first. Now we don't have to swim under there anymore to connect to this. Good. Three of five effigies. Shotgun shells. All right, so we got to do this one now. Um, it won't turn. Oh, man. All right, I got to loosen that one. Yeah, there's some wood down there I gotta get rid of. Really? My shotgun is full? Before I hop down there, let's clear this area in case there are any more baddies. Doesn't look like it. Okay. So is this not one that I... Guess I gotta use the raft? I mean, it's not going red, so using a, um, using a shotgun shell isn't going to do that. Oh, I can't get to it. Oh. Oh. 
So then if we fill the basin. Good. This is promising. There we go, okay. I guess it's easier to remove wood and stone in the way when you're underwater, right? I guess. Get behind me! There was nothing here! Where did they come from? Over here, oh, okay. Right. Leader, maybe? Oh! They didn't enter. But they closed the door behind me. Am I trapped? Am I entombed? These figures, they look like those creatures, but they're graceful. Yes, yeah, Sheil, 
goddesses of protection. The silver box of Ishel was forged in paradise and brought to Earth. Did those creatures make the box? Neither false gods nor zealots shall be allowed to pass. They're protecting it. Is that why they fought me so viciously? Here they keep the box until the sun's renewal. Yeah. <sighs> An eclipse and a heron, like the tattoos on Inarachu's arm. But where's the box? Shock. Been unlocked the underworld. So someone must have just gone into that room before Laura and taken the box before she could. Just why that earthquake happened just as she arrived. Otherwise, it's a bit of a coincidence. Right, tell. Did we leave any loot behind? I don't think so. Full up. Can't carry any more. Ah, uh, we gotta go on an underhang here. Ah. <laughs> Missing gear. Climbing overhang axe walls requires overhang climbing gear. 
Well, where would that have taken me? Okay, I guess I gotta take the long way. I can use these to climb out of here. She's got some stomping boots now. So I guess I go back and... There we go. Overhand climbing gear. New gear acquired. Great. Come on! Jump and press E, it says! I mean, I jumped and I pressed E! There we go! Overhang exit. Press W to exit overhangs. Press space to jump to ledges above. <clears throat> Achievement unlocked. New heights. I'm gonna press jump, and I'm gonna press E. Jump, E, there we go. Overhang lateral jump, press space to jump across gaps between overhangs and E to reattach, here we go. <laughs> Shit. How does this one person? Oh my god, this is insane. No human being. I don't care. Just this is ridiculous. Really? Really? There we go. Is just the superwoman. Yes. All full up. Can't carry any more. Ah. Oh. 
Oh man. I'm gonna have to take a nap after this. Jump an E! <laughs> to jump. There's no other way. A grapple jump? Okay. <gasps> well, I, I, okay, I jumped. There was no other way. Oh, oh. All full up. Can't carry anymore. Oh, why did they gotta put me here? This had better not be a repeat of like two weeks ago. jump. There's no other way. I mean, yeah, but that's really far. Okay, I actually made it this time. Nap time? <laughs> of course not, no nap for Laura. Three paths. Uh, this one? Maybe? <sighs> Hope you're not fast. Oh, shoot. Let's get out of here before the piranha get us. We're back here. All roads lead back to Paititi. Rebellion lives. Return to Unaratu's home. Whatever those things are, doesn't really matter while they're chasing you. Whew. Who left those carvings of the heron and the eclipse? I have to talk to Unaratu about them. 
Let's see, did I get any extra skill points from that? Yeah, I've got three skill points to spend. I could get, uh, use a rope arrow. What's this? Um, craft concussive shells. Temporarily stuns enemies. Useful for returning to concealment. Flare rounds and concussive shells stun enemies for a longer period of time. Craft poison grenades. Kill enemy nearby enemies and obscure line of sight. That's locked. Use focus plants. Uh, focus potency. Focus mixture. Uh, increased chance of recovering arrows. Uh, finding rare animals. Negotiate better prices from merchants. Yeah. P perception plants. Weapon upgrades. Let's do merchants. All right, I've got one point left. I can save up for that. Now, there were some things that I missed. If I can find where I was on a back. There was something up here. Where was it? Oh my God. I've explored this sprawling, and I don't even remember where it was. Okay, we came up there. We went there. And we went through there. Was it there? I think it was there. All right, let me check something <clears throat> real quick. And then we'll come back if we need to. Yes. It must be past the temple. Okay, there's something in the water over there. <clears throat> there it is. Okay. How do I get over there? I've got to jump on the side. <clears throat> the exit must be past the temple. It must be past the temple. Why does she keep saying that? <laughs> Ouch. Even rusted out, you can tell this is a quality weapon. It was likely manufactured in Toledo. The city was renowned for their steelwork. Okay, where is it? Oh, this is the worst. 
The way, the way you find hidden things on objects in this game is worse than all the other games. Oh, yes, I know. I hear the sound. The notches on the blade suggest several battles. Okay, we got that. <laughs> then there was one more thing, because when we were underwater, there were a couple of other paths. Lawrence Corner sends, uh, says, when's the next Fallout Pit Steam stream? <clears throat> well, there won't be one because I completed Fallout the Pit. Like, I did everything. There are only two quests, and I did both of those quests. Okay, let's see if we can go the other ways this time. Remember this from the last one. Oh, come on.
back here. <laughs> All right, well, I don't see anything up on my map. So I'm not gonna worry about it. I got the one that was marked. Let's go back to... Unarathu's home? I guess that's the only one I can fast travel to. Okay. So I need to meet with them, but it looks like they're not in the home. Laura, if you can hear me. I'm here. We're not at Unurachos. We're in a cave nearby. The entrance is marked with a heron and an eclipse. On my way. Okay, this must have been the, um... This must have been the cave that had the spikes on it earlier. Yep, and the spikes are gone. Maybe they could provide support. Do you have it? It was a trap. The box was taken and Unaratu was captured. We heard. We're working on a plan. She's being held at the prison by the old temple. Akan led a raid, and was taken too. We'll charge the bridge that leads to the prison. It's aggressive. What if I climb up here, free her, and then signal to attack? That could work. Let's leave scouting the temple in the upper district. He could find you a way in. I'll go talk to him. We'll have backup ready once you get her out. Sounds good. What is that? For strength and safety. Thank you. Laura. I'll get her out. I know. Okay. Really? You believe that? The great Sinchichika and the shield of the Age Maker. Why not? Listen to yourself. It's a myth. Unuratu believes it. That's enough for me. It's a story, Gorienka. It's real. I know it is. It's just something our parents told us when we were kids. No, you're wrong, Kumia. The shield will unite us. The only things we should trust in to defeat Kukulkan are our skills and our wits. Well then, seeing as neither are your strong suit, I suggest you get back to your training. Lara. Yes? I am Koryanka. Unuratu has spoken very highly of you. I was the one who opened the way to the old barracks when Etsy was captured. You played a part in that as well. We are sisters of the same cause. Ah, I see. Your tattoo, are you... One of the shorn ones, yes. But that was another life. Before Amaru, when we stood for something else. He dissolved my order in favor of his priests. I am all that is left. But I swore an oath. Never take a step backwards in battle. So now I wear the colors of the rebellion. I am duty bound to Queen Unuratu. Well, the reputation of the Shorn Ones is well known to me. Historically speaking, it's an honor. You're too kind. I heard you speak of Emperor Sinchi Chika. Yes. 
the first emperor of Paititi. He is Unuratu's ancestor. He made this age everything we see, touch, smell, everything we fight for now. I've never heard of this shield before, the... The shield of the age maker. It is the evidence this rebellion needs that Unuratu is the one to lead Paititi into the next age. Inscribed on the shield is the ordination ritual. The ritual will prove Queen Unuratu is the next age maker, that only she may create destiny, and not that false god, Amaru. And where is the shield? Hidden, deep within the mountain, beyond the path of Huracan. The path of Huracan? It is a trial designed to test all those who seek the shield. You've already tried. That was my mission before Etsli was captured. Unfortunately, I had to divert. Since his rescue, the cult knows we're planning something, so... Now I must prepare our fighters, and the shield must wait. Only I fear that if we wait too long, Amaru may get to it first and deny Unuratu's claim. Hmm. If Amaru gets the shield, he can unite Paititi behind whatever story he chooses and proclaim himself the Age Maker. He'll remake the world as he sees fit. Yes. That can't happen. I was hoping you would say that. That's my friend over there with Uchu. His name's Jonah. I'll contact him if I find anything. I'll stay close to him. Thank you, Lara. Locate the entrance to the path of Huracan. Have more rebels been captured? Ishiki. Maybe you can help. I sent five men to steal the cult of Kukul Khan's weapons for the rebellion, but the mission failed. In former times, I would have led them myself, but now I can't fight. I can't even run, or else I start to cough up blood. But I'm still a good planner, or I was until today. My comrades were caught and strung on posts throughout the lower village as a warning. They're going to hang there until they die. You said I might be able to help. Yes. With your Serpent Guard attire, you can untie all four of them and no one will suspect you. Four? You said there were five men on the mission. There were. Kolki was leading them, but he wasn't captured along with the others. Nobody's seen him. He's probably been killed. I'll see what I can do. Free the rebels. Free four rebel prisoners. This is the same lady. Thank you again, Lara. The rebellion must have the shield of the Age Maker. I just hope we're not too late. Skull Cave. The cult of Kukul Khan has gone too far. The time to strike is now. They push and push, and all we do is take another step back. If Unaratu is unwilling to do anything, then we should move forward without her. six-point mace, cast from copper, with an embedded axe blade, a fearsome weapon. This is a big cave. Sassy. I should have done something. Now Unuratu is captured. You did all you could. And the other rebels? They'll make an example of them. We can't focus on that right now. God, what a mess.
Let's see. Got two skill points. That's probably not enough. Crimson Angel says jump into the water in front of you for mission. Okay, thank you, Crimson Angel. And I will. I just want to make sure I explore everything first. And then presumably this is the way out, the way that we came. Yeah, that's the crevice. Okay. I really need to go to a merchant. Yeah, see there's jade right there and it's full. My jade has been full for two streams now. So I need to go to a merchant and sell. Let's see, where was the merchant? Uh, what's that? Skull cave? The merchants were over here. What's that skull cave? Well, that's where I came from. Okay, that's the skull cave I came from. Oh, I should have just fast traveled over here. Yeah, I'll do that. Chad is saying that this is DLC now. Oh. Crimson Angel says it is DLC, but it, it, it fits into the story. This is the best time to do it. Okay. How are you? How may I help you? Okay, let's sell gold. Max. The gods favor us both. Jade. Here you go. Max, cloth, half. Very good. Wood, half. The gods favor us both. Oh, she's going to say that over and over. Very good. Here you go. The gods favor us both. Very good. Here you go. Very good. Here you go. The gods favor us both. Here you go. And then these are all really low. Well, not this one. The gods favor us both. So we won't sell all of these. Very good. The gods favor us both. Here you go. 
Tilly gifted five Oxhorn memberships to the community. Congratulations to Da A, Mr. Bear, Viral Mag Ravager, Matthew Smith, Carol, and Carol Ann for snagging those memberships. Okay, does she have anything interesting to sell? No. Come back soon. Let's see the other merchant. Come, Shiki, I have supplies. Hello there. Look what I have for you. Okay, she's got bow, bow, mantle of the sky. I mean, I've got tons of money. I've got 39,000. Do I really want to buy all this stuff? I maxed out on these arrow types. Provides protection from projectiles. I mean, if I buy all of this, I'm going to be down like 13,000 or so. All right, might as well. I am certain you will find it useful. The gods favor us both. You have made an excellent choice, my friend. I am certain you will find it useful. All right, well, that was a lot. Thank you, but friend. I got it all. I should have done something. Now Unaratu is captured. And the other rebels, they'll make an example of them. God, what a mess. Okay, let's see. Recurve bow, serpent wood bow, alatal bow. High damage, but I lose out on rate of fire, draw speed, and hold time. I mean, even so, I still think all of these bows are better. Hold time goes way down at the expense of rate of fire and draw speed. No, right, no, yeah, damage and hold time go down. Everything goes down. Everything goes down. Everything go, uh, goes down except for draw speed. Yeah, it's just not worth it. All right, I have to have this one for the mission. All right, so let's fast travel back to the Serpent Cave. Or the Skull Cave. Umukil, Hachkabet in Like Sikimbaon, Tial Ulak Hulbatelo, Unjabiti. TJ says you've unlocked the DLC shotguns after getting that shotgun oxhorn. Check them out. Okay. Uh shotguns. Five upgrades available, or this one, or that one, which is just better than everything. Whispering Scourge. Why can't I equip it? Oh, because I'm on, like, a, a stealth mission. And I can't use any of these weapons. Okay. Well, when I'm done with this... I'll do it. Okay, what was that about jumping in the water to start the mission? My quest marker is sending me that way. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's nothing else down here, folks. Alright, I think I need to fast travel out of here. Yeah, the quest marker is sending me... Okay, free the four rebels. Oh, I see. The rebels are... Oh, okay. Uh, right. Try to remember these. One on the north side of the bridge, one on the south side of the bridge. Guy Alex says, I've enjoyed watching your videos late at night when my newborn can't sleep. He finds your voice to be very soothing. Well, thank you so much. I'm happy to help. Okay, so over there somehow. May they all be cursed. Okay. Right. Have you come to finally kill me? I'm not with the cult. I'm a friend here to free you. That's an effective disguise. Can you use it to free the others and find Kolkwi? I hope so, but I don't know what happened to him. He's alive. Kolkwi's alive. In the confusion, I heard him shout, ordering a retreat. I'm sure he's alive. Okay, one of four done. The next one is south over here. They'll not see me beg. You're wasting your time. I'll never tell you anything. I'm not here to interrogate you. I'm here to free you. Bribery? Life as a traitor would be worse than death. I'm sure it would, but I'm a friend. Thank you. Friend? You're welcome. You and your friends are safe. No. The cult was expecting us. A spy has infiltrated the rebellion. The spy is the fifth guy that was not captured. Okay, so now we need to go... Southwest. Can I get in there now? Yeah. Someone's taken this old walkie-talkie apart. Were they making an attempt at reverse engineering, I wonder? Mother, father, soon we'll be reunited. Am I in the afterlife? Are you a spirit? No, I'm very much alive, as are you. <laughs> a mortal and an immortal. There, you're free to go. Yes, I have been liberated. 
Richard Hunter says, thanks, Ox. Your streams this week have been great. Hope all is good. Thank you, Richard. All is well. All right, there was one more, and I think he was over here somewhere. I can't shoot. Here we go. Where was the other one? It was over ah, here. Jan South of me. Gowards, all of us. This is what we deserve for failing so miserably. Don't be so rough on yourself. You'll live to fight another day. We didn't fight. We gave up when we were surrounded. Marched off to die without a single drop of blood on the ground. Okay, return to Poma. <clears throat> right, let's get to a campfire. If I can find one. Okay, so that does the side quest. Umukil, Hachkabet in Likesi Kimbaon, Tial Ulak Hulbatelo. I freed your friends, and there's more good news. Kolkwi is alive. He was in the lead when the others were surrounded. He, he shouted a warning and ran away. That's excellent. There is one concern. You may have a traitor in the rebellion. I know we do. I learned who he was while you were gone, and I'm going to personally see he gets what he deserves. All right. Oh. Here, take this as a thank you. I appreciate all your help. If you're right about Kolkwi, he would have gone to the mountain safe house. Can you go find him, please? Let him know we have retreated to Skull Cave. I'll find him. Mountain safe house now. New gear acquired. Uh, leather greaves. Okay, find Kolkwi in the safe house. Oh. Okay. Well, there's a base camp right next to it, so we'll use it.
Let's see how close to the quest marker this places us. All right, I can't target that. Hmm. How do I get back in there? Maybe I should have fast traveled to the other side. <laughs> yeah, let's try over here. Oh, this might have been a mistake. What? Now he's over here? Oh. Search the cavern. Okay. So we're going back over previously trodden ground. Okay, all oh, right. Kalki! Kalki! Kalki came while you were freeing the others. We didn't know he was a Jaguar warrior. He offered me payment. How could I refuse? You should have, Boma. Kukulkan. Death to the one who defies Kukulkan! There! The outsider Kukul Khan sent us for. Kukul Khan Thank you. 
Well, she's doing a really good job crouch running. And I don't have any other weapons. Where is he? Okay, he's got to be right under me. Okay, so I'm confused. We were right that Kolki was the traitor. But the guy we got the quest from says, oh, I already know who the traitor is. I'm, I'm going to go punish him. But you need to go save Kolki. So presumably he didn't know that Kolki was the traitor, and yet his search for the traitor led him straight to Kolki? What was that exchange? Because this is the guy who gave us the quest. He's lying here dead. That was weird. Is that it? Okay, meet Etsley in Upper Paititi. I guess that was it.
I still can't um, equip my new shotgun because I'm in disguise right now. Okay, so let's fast travel to the closest quest marker, which is going to be here. Robino says, didn't he say Colquie came to them and bribed them? Uh, yeah, but uh, they were all talking over each other, and um, it was hard to make out. Hey! Oh my god. I have some items. These fallen soldiers, far more rebels than cultists. Hachevan uchik in Topikonov, Chen Humpel Batelil uch helbe shunahe, Beishan in Tukul, Minano Nukolov, Malov, Yetel Mishuts can Sanilovi, Tokili uchet, Tantike, Baili kun uchulo, Hachwahel um binton utsil waminan kukulkantik wignalone? The collection of reeds bundled together with rope and stone is used as a calendar, usually representing a 52-year cycle. Okay. Pardon me. Don't mind me. I'm totally of the cult. I'm shorter than all of you, and my outfit is green, and I'm a woman, but I'm totally, totally part of the cult. <laughs> Yep, I'm indistinguishable from all of you. I'm a cult member. This describes something nearby. They stand back to back, two brothers in arms. I lie at the feet of the one who watches the shaded serpent. Two brothers in arms, I lie at the feet of the one who watches the shaded serpent. Is the shaded serpent a river? Nope, it's up there. Okay. Why are you 
Basking Walike. I lie at the feet of the one beneath the shaded serpent, huh? Bulging eyes, fangs. This is Tlaloc, the Aztec god of rain and storms. In his gentler temperament, he's also the god of water and fertility, bestowing life and sustenance. But on the other side of the coin, he's responsible for thunder and lightning, hail, and the other destructive aspects of water, including erosion, affiliating him with caves, pools, and springs. Oddly enough, he lives in a mountain. His bird is the heron, but he's associated also with animals like snails, frogs, and other amphibians. Do you think there will be any more of these uh, uprisings? Market day has been completely disrupted. I'm sure there'll be a solution to this conflict soon. Well, I hope so. Okay, let's get the riddle again. Um, they stand back to back. Two brothers in arms. I lie at the feet of the one who watches the shaded serpent. I'm in the exploration area, but these two statues are not back to back. Brothers in arms, back to back. No, they're not back to back. Ah! Brothers in arms, back to back. I lie at the feet of the one beneath the shaded serpent. There it is. Gotcha. Riches. Yay. Hello. Lara, your serpent guard disguise is good. I discovered the passphrase for the prison where they're holding my mother. Innocent eyes will blink at dawn when weakness falls away. Understood. We'll get her out, Atsley. There's one more thing. Hakan has been captured. He's my friend Kiara's dad. If he is sacrificed, I... I'll see what I can do. Okay, how did the kids sneak up here? Rescue Hakan, talk to Kayara. Enter the temple of Kukul Khan. Don't mind me, just taking all your merchandise. Only the exalted and knowing may enter this sacred ground. Innocent eyes will blink at dawn when weakness falls away. You may enter. <laughs> right, I'll go in there in a bit. I gotta find this quest giver. You there, girl! Get away from that door! Your rebel father will die for his actions. Papa! I love you! That must be Kiara, the girl Etsy mentioned. 
which means Hakan is in that cell. I've got to find a way to get him out. Maybe these rebels will give up after they see what happens when they get caught. It is sad that a little girl will be orphaned today, but maybe this execution will send the right message. This rebel straighten the harmony of Paititi. Some believe that harmony only applies to those of us here in the upper city. With respect, Ahau, but I did not choose this life. It was a gift from the gods. All life is a gift. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ahau. Please don't hurt me. I only wanted to say goodbye to my father. I'm not gonna hurt you, Kiara. I'm with the rebellion. How do you know my name? Your friend Etsley told me I should help you. He... he did? Yes. So, why don't you tell me what's happened? My father blames Kukulkan for mother's death. I told him that nothing would bring her back, but he didn't listen. He tried to kill Kukulkan and now he's going to die and I will be left all alone. Hey, it'll be okay, little one. Maybe I can help. <laughs> really? There are other rebels here in the square. They want to help as well, but they are too scared. Maybe you can convince them. I'll do whatever I can, Kiera. I promise you, I won't let them take your father from you. Thank mm. you, Aho. Don't Call make a promise up. that you can't fulfill. Free Hakan. Musician, grace us all with the sounds of your instruments. But Aho, the executions are being prepared. You know it is forbidden at this time. Do I? Right, okay. Oh, forgive me, Aho, but are you not concerned? Concerned? About what? Kukulkan has been collecting so many people for sacrifice lately, and not just rebels that I... Well... You feel there is too much death? I know what must be paid to the gods to keep the sun from dying, but... You needn't worry. This wave of death will end soon. Trust me. Blessings, Aho. Are you enjoying the executions? The executions? Of course, but I need you to stop the prayers for now. Why did the attendant sound the horn? I'm sure there's a reason, but remain alert all the same. I want to free the prisoner, but I can't do it alone. You must be the Ashiki Unuratu spoke of. If you can make it safe, I will help open the door. Okay, now we can do this, right? Would you play your instruments for an envoy of the gods? We would be honored, Aho. Okay. Don't be alarmed. I'm a friend of Unaratu's. I'm trying to free and the prisoner and I need your help. Of course, but those guards will kill us Come if on. we get too close. You better make sure deal with them first, mine. then I will do what you need. Okay, deal with the guards. I dealt with the guards. <sighs> it's too heavy. I need to find some help. Okay, I dealt with the guards, so now I can talk to him? It's safe now. Help me open the door. Yes, right. we must move. <sighs> it's too heavy. I need to find some help. This won't work. Both levers need to be held open if I'm going to get inside. I need someone else. Uh, well, I had someone else. What? Did I not do it fast enough? Is that what it was? That will be enough prayer for now. Please sound the horn. Of course. Now, would you play as I requested? Gladly. Why did the attendant sound the horn? I'm sure there's a reason. Remain Are you alert still all the willing same. to help? Yes, 
as soon as the guards are gone. Okay, so I needed to get both of them. And now, music? Will this execution ever happen? Come on. Can I still count Better on you? Better make sure everyone stays Those in Those guards are still a problem. You know what you have to do. Okay, the guards are gone. Then we must move, now. Should we try again? Quickly, this together now. This should do it. The way is clear. What do you want, priest? Don't worry, I'm a friend. I do not have any friends that look like you. Trust me, I'm a wolf in sheep's clothing. Your daughter's waiting. Can you walk? Kayara. Damn. Kayara, go! Get someplace safe. I will find you. Uh, we're I'll find a us tomb. a way out of here. I remember you now. You are the outsider I saw with Unuratu in the lower village. And if I remember correctly, you were told not to go after Kuku Khan. I was stupid and careless, blinded by revenge. I know that now. I risk everything, like my sweet Kayara. A daughter needs her father more than you need revenge. You speak the truth. Thank you. Right. Aha! Handy. We'll just dig our way out. I mean, why couldn't we do that from the beginning? Oh, I see. It's not on the other Through side. Here. Stay close. These are the old barracks. This way. Kiara, I am coming. Hey, stay close, she said. Stay close. Oh my god. Where did it? way out is blocked. So can Walek ditch. So I will not lose hope. I know there is a way. If we work together, we can move this stone. Thank you. For showing me the way. You helped. Not that. The way to what's important. To my daughter. Here, this knife. It belonged to my wife. I was going to kill Kukul Khan with it. I have no use for it now. Achievement unlocked. That's a knife. Good. New gear acqu acquired. Okay. I am so sorry, my sweet child. Let me look at you. I promise I will never leave you again. Come on. Let's go home. Yay! Mission complete! Achievement unlocked, I believe Hakan fly. I believe Hakan fly. Really? That's the achievement name? I believe Huck and Fly? Oh, God. Okay, well, we need to go into that room. But let's finish looking around here. This wooden firearm is almost an exact replica of a modern assault rifle. The artisan who made this must have had an excellent memory or worked from a model. Perhaps a weapon stolen from Trinity. Okay. Looks like there are a few more, but they are deeper in. Yeah, so I need to go through that door. A oh, merchant. Come see what I have to trade. How can I help How do you, do? Yara? What are you looking for? 
Am I going to regret spending all my money? A laser sight applies to all rifles. Yes. Thank you. Crimson Huntress. Well, I'm half of where I was. I don't think I want to waste my money on everything. Let's sell my gold. Max. Enjoy. My jade. Max. Mm, good deal. Nep 14, a fully automatic pistol that sacrifices power for a high rate of fire. Yeah, the problem is that it's going to go through uh, ammunition like crazy. Come find me if you need anything else. Hey. Oh. Let me see what I have to trade. I've got more gold bars. And a piece of jewelry. These ear ornaments are in pristine condition. They contain a carved out illustration of a winged beast with a pronounced trunk and a torch or staff in its hand. This type of jewelry is a symbol of wealth and prosperity, maybe even belonging to royalty. Okay. Come see what I have to trade. Wait, let's sell my gold that I just got while I'm here. Everything is for sale, except Remax drum. Enjoy it. Come find me if you need anything else. Was there anything on this side? Nope. Okay. How long are you going to maintain this charade of rebellion? Until we succeed, and you're no longer a threat. You say this to my face? Amaru, remember who you are. I am one of you. Yeah. Is that why you had me arrested? If my brother was alive, rest his soul. Yeah, he will think this bickering is a waste of time. Come home. I am home. This is home. Unaruto, dream for a moment. How will Baititi prosper when dawn comes in a world without threats coming from the outside? Aren't you such a threat? Remake the world? We all create destiny together as we are. Everything I've ever done has been for Baititi. Everything! When it was divided, I unified it! I am the only one who sees the real threat here. You come and go as if your life here is optional. Yes. I have lived the outside world and I have seen what's to come. Every day it encroaches. Paititi will not survive its invasion. Everything we are will be taken or destroyed. Well, then we must fight for it together, according to the will of its people. By restoring the sun. Hmm? That will only ensure Paititi's safety for a moment. But then, it doesn't protect us from discovery, invasion. Our destiny is to be doomed. No! No, we... We must be bold, decisive. Act with me. I need your intelligence, your resilience in my world. 
a world ruled by the cult of Kukultan? Or should I say Trinity? If it's control you want, you can have it. Just help me now ensure Paititi's safety, and then, by all means, you can govern it as you wish. I will give you the throne. I will do it. No. I will find the box and restore the sun. May its light be your judge. Why do you think so little of me? Take her back to her cell. Hmm. You can send me back, but I will never betray your people. No, you will just fail them. The box is gone. A missionary, Andres Lopez. He stole it 400 years ago. What? Oh. You just wasted your life searching in the wrong place. Leave me now. So that's why we didn't find it there. But it chose the moment Laura walked into the chamber for an, an earthquake to happen. Find the missionary, find the box. Right. Another group of children is on their way from Khan, traveling via steamship. Of the ten I have sent, please keep a close eye on the one called Amaru. He shows the greatest promise. However, he is prone to bouts of sullenness and often complains about missing his brother. I suggest a special curriculum be created for this one, something that will keep him too occupied to be homesick. Hmm. The shadows loom long and dark, the mountain black as night, in mourning as the strange pale men end the short but immensely productive life of Kaiuaka Park. He whose yearning for greatness lashed this city to his shoulders and carried it upwards, who only ever asked for NT to warm his brow as he worked, in the streams or fields or brickyards. Kaiuaka Park made a deal with the strange men. He gave his life so that we may live ours, free, but under the new rule of these men from distant lands. Steel 101 says it feels like the main problem with this game is that it over over time you forget that Trinity is the bad guy. In other words, you forget that they're in the game. Uh, yeah, the, there is a problem with this game. As much as I am enjoying the exploration and the scenery and how beautiful it is, the, I feel like the pacing of this game is really sluggish. And um, they, they put a ton of detail and research into um, Mayan culture and recreating a tribe based off of that ancient culture here that I think that the story, the main story, kind of gets lost in the weeds of all of that a little bit. Um, I feel like all of these little side quests and diversions just don't, they, you know, they, they add to like the culture of this tribe, but they don't really add much to progressing the plot. Um, but yeah, it's a bit slower paced until we get to some action and then, you know, it's just endless, relentless action. <laughs> Hello. This is Tonatia, the sun god and ruler of the Aztec heaven, which they called Tolan, 
He was literally the sun itself, the fifth one in fact, presiding over the fifth age after the four previous suns had perished. The Aztecs believed they had to sacrifice to him regularly, or else he would refuse to move across the sky. He was strongly associated with eagles, unsurprisingly, and was often depicted wearing their feathers and carrying weapons such as arrows and shields or instruments specifically created for human sacrifice. Is that a death pit? Lots of skulls and stuff down there. I think that might be a death pit. In order to not upset an already delicately balanced situation, all members of Trinity will adhere to the following rules. Limit excursions in the city. If leaving the compound is unavoidable, always wear the cultist uniform. Do not carry modern weapons. Avoid direct contact with Pytitians when possible. Lots of lore. In an effort to reduce the possibility of disease entering Paititi, Emperor Shika hereby temporarily bans all citizens from exiting the city. Anyone currently beyond the city's limits will not be authorized to re-enter. Paititi is still recovering from a recent epidemic and any other outbreaks could tip the already precarious balance. By order of the cult of Kukul Khan, that black and yellow stripe across his face marks this as Tezcatlipoca, a very important god to the Aztecs. Let's see if I can remember everything he was associated with. Jaguars, hurricanes, the night winds, the night sky, earth, the north, sorcery, beauty, temptation, leadership war, strife, interpersonal conflict in general, and of course, obsidian and divination. His right foot is often replaced with a piece of reflective obsidian, which the Aztecs used as mirrors, and these mirrors figured in shamanic rituals and prognostication. Tezcatlipoca literally means smoking mirror. <clears throat> That's a busy god. The city's priests, or shamans, if we mean to differentiate between the heathens and those who toil in the Lord's light, were the first to come forward, the first to listen, to hear of the state of the outside world. And thereupon, several of them felt completely cheated and begged to be baptized. They reasoned rightly, their worship and trust was misplaced in the traditional deities of these lands. For as one stated, if your God has brought you here, across the world, then he truly must be the most powerful, and only a fool would not bow to such a being. We will teach these shamans English, and have them teach the population of Paititi. Okay, is that all the lore? I mean, there was a heck of a lot of it, and I think that is all of it. Down into the chamber. Jonah, I know where she is. I'm going in. Okay, we're on our way. Did you feel the tremor before? Yeah, when I was in the cenote. It was a foreshock. The earthquake is coming soon. We have to hurry. Yeah, when we get Unuratu out, we'll all go find the box together. Explore to find the entrance, a challenge tomb nearby. Well, it's probably not that way. That's probably the path I need to go. So let's explore this way to find a challenge tomb. Where am I now? Okay. There's a tomb nearby and I'm betting it's, yep. Look at that. It's marked by those yellow skulls. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, there it is down there. Well, then what's over there? What's that? The challenge tomb is over there, so... What's over there? If I go over there... Oh! Okay. Smash! Smash into a rock! Okay. Challenge tomb. Just don't give me piranha. I'll take endless swimming. No piranha. Unknown area, challenge tomb. some kind of primitive sculpture of a human. Another effigy? This is just like the last one we found. Oh man, they're recycling uh, artifacts now. But I lived. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see. Well, uh, lots of water. What's over here? We've got another water wheel, but that one appears to be broken. Survival cash.
Oh, great. <clears throat> A city is only as strong as its crops and people. From here, we control the water, never having to rely on the Fickley rains again. And all I've got is, um, my shotgun, or my bow. I don't have a shotgun. Oh, here we go. Climbable rock walls, but also A working Maya aqueduct might be able to climb up there. Okay, what did that do? That raises the water level. Okay. the water level. Hmm, I don't think I can open it by myself. Okay, we've got a raft here. Kickable raft. Press E to kick the raft. There we go. All right, now just to raise the water level again. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
right, looks like we've got another one here. Let's see. I'm probably not going to be able to pull that out myself, but what do I grab onto? Ah. Okay. Do I need to kick it over here for something? Yeah, to raise myself up. can probably move the raft somewhere useful. There we go. Then we just gotta raise the water again.
Got it. Try that again. Okay, so this is going to increase the water level again. Let's see, before we do that, all right, so there's a raft down there. That's the raft I used to get up here. Let's uh, take a gander. Mm, impossible, I can't carry anymore. All right, so presumably we're gonna have to attach the raft to that, I guess. All right, let's raise the water level and see if that does it. Anymore. Okay, that raised the water level. And it pushes the raft. All full up. Can't carry any more. Brings us up here. But I wonder what else we can attach this to. Okay, so let's try that again. Should be able to get up higher now. Okay. So it's a bit of parkour. That's probably my way out, so let's finish exploring this first. Oh, it's timed? Oh, it's timed? Alright, well, how am I gonna get up here? Do I gotta kick the raft?
I guess I gotta kick the raft really quickly. Oh, this is annoying. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. Okay. Not too bad. Whoever this was, an honor to be laid to rest here. Jaguar's paw. Increased chance to knock enemies down with melee attacks. Tomb complete. Back at the campsite. See if I've got any new skill points to spend. I've got seven points to spend. Yeah, lots. All right. Um, vestige outfits require fewer resources to restore glory. Craft lure traps. No. Reach full draw weight more quickly. Reduce time between charged shots. Yes. Endurance mixture, endurance mixture, loose arrows simultaneously at two locked targets. Hmm. Let's try poison grenades. Oh, I got to get this first. Lure arrows. Okay. Viper's lure. Use one to select the bow. Hold the middle mouse button to craft lure arrows. Requires a silent arrow cloth and venom. These arrows attract nearby enemies and detonate on proximity, releasing a deadly, deadly nerve gas cloud. Cool. Can make use of that. Then we can try this one. Poison grenades. Use three to select the rifle. Hold the middle mouse button to craft poison grenades. Requires black powder and venom. Used to kill enemies and obscure lines of sight within an area. Awesome. Now, let's see if I can switch to my new shotgun. An overall improvement. And I've got better pistols, too, than the one I was using. This one is an overall improvement, so we'll use that one. This one is suppressed, but everything else goes down except for reload speed. And if I want suppression, I can always just use a bow. Cool, and I think that's it for now. We're coming up on the four-hour mark. Uh, so that's it for the Shadow of the Tomb Raider. We'll pick up right here where we leave off next week to continue with this primary plot and delve deeper. Thanks for coming, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the broadcast, and thanks for joining me all week 
on an entire week's full of broadcasts here on the channel. Next week, we'll be back to our regular schedule, going through Halo on Monday, more Mad Max on Wednesday. Uh, we'll continue with um, the Dark Pictures an Anthology on Thursday for Scotch and Smoke Rings. Actually, I don't know what I'm going to do because it's a special episode, apparently. So I'll figure something out in time for that. But then Friday, more Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I'm going to try to get a lore video out for Saturday. Uh, so I'll let you know on Twitter either way whether I get it done or not. But that's it for Friday. Have a wonderful rest of your evening, everybody. And I hope you have an excellent weekend. See you all with more lore videos and more live streams very soon. Bye-bye now.